Hey guys, so uh, this is a question I get all the time. What are the most common symptoms associated with parasites? Because due to the fact that we really do not have accurate and consistent, reliable, reproducible tests to find parasites within people's bodies, and knowing everybody has parasites, how do you know if you have them? So let's go through a couple of very common symptoms because you need to know this to know what the root cause is. So number one is constipation. Parasites release an enzyme within your gut that actually slows down the motility of your gut, which means they can feed on your food longer. So constipation is a big red flag. Uh, also just irritable bowel in general, uh, having bloating or pain within the gut, um, having issues with rectal itching. So I see kids do this all the time. It is a huge red flag. In fact, the minute I see it, I know that that child has a parasite and they're gonna go home and they're gonna share it with everybody. Um, also issues as we move up the GI into the sinuses, if you have issue with sinus congestion, that is largely parasitic in nature and because because parasites disrupt the immune system, you now become allergic to everything in the air, all the trees and bees and everything that are out there. So sinus congestion, big parasite problem, um, even issues with headaches. I know a lot of times people get uh, sinus headaches. It's all connected. Same thing with TMJ. If you have issues with um, clenching your jaw, TMJ problems, pain in the jaw, or grinding your teeth. If you ever watch a child sleep, uh, I've seen a couple of our children over the years grind their teeth at night and I know they're battling some type of parasitic issue. Uh, things like skin issues. If you've got any type of rash, itching, um, feeling like your skin is crawling at times, like something's on your leg or something but you don't see it. Um, if you have issues with eczema, psoriasis, definitely underlying parasitic risk with that. Um, your nails. If you ever uh, if you have fungus, right, that's a big one, but especially um, issues with biting your nails. Uh, children do this a lot as well. Um, parasite problem for sure. It's actually uh, a disruption in that immune system as well. But white marks on the nails, that's a zinc deficiency, but parasites love zinc. So if you have it, they're gonna eat it. It's the same thing with iron. So if you're low in iron, if you're fatigued or you have anemia, uh, parasites are one of the most common underlying issues for low iron. So make sure uh, you're dealing with that if that's a symptom of yours. Um, also, uh, things like um, recurring infections. So this one's really, really big. If you have bacterial infections, yeast infections, and it doesn't matter if it's, you know, as a female, a vaginal yeast infection, if it's, you know, jock itch, if it's uh, toenail or fingernail fungus, if it's, uh, you know, athlete's foot, any kind of yeast, fungal, candida overgrowth issues. A lot of times what I found over the years um, is that people will attack the bacteria and yeast infections, but in reality, it just comes right back. Why? Because that wasn't the root cause. Um, it's largely due to parasites within the body because parasites disrupt the immune system and allow other infections to take over. Why? It allows parasites to evade and escape, right? They're very intelligent. Their job is to stay alive, and so they will fool you with other infections that just seem to not go away. The last thing I want to mention is huge is sleep. If we don't sleep, we don't heal. And a lot of times people are waking up in the middle of the night, they can't get back to sleep, or uh, they're really tired when they wake up. Critters are active at night, so when you have you or anyone in your family, children or other, have these types of symptoms, this is something that needs to be detoxed. And understand if one person in the family has it, they're sharing with everyone else. So let us know your questions as to how you and your family can detox from parasitic infections.